Ooh, so many birds. So many birds. Hello and welcome back to another Scottish adventure. So as you are probably aware, I am back in the UK and Scotland. I still have lots of Zambian adventures to share and upload with you guys. But today we are heading out on a beautiful adventure in Scotland. I'm currently driving through to a small town called Anstruther, which is in Fife. And from Anstruther, I'll then get onto a boat for one hour and we will arrive on the Isle of May where there are thousands of nesting puffins. I've been wanting to photograph these birds for a couple of years now. I've got my new Sony 200 to 600 lens and I cannot wait to get there and see what it's like. The weather at the moment is looking pretty peachy. We've got some beautiful sunshine being diffused by some haze. Now the weather could change very fast out on the island, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it stays similar to this. So we'll continue on now to Anstruther and then see what happens, get on the boat and the adventure shall begin. Let's go! Well, as you can see, we have arrived in Anstruther and the weather is looking absolutely beautiful here. I now need to go and find a small ticket office, grab my tickets, and then it's almost time to board the boat. Let's go find these tickets. Okay, I've got my ticket and my leaflet and I've just moved my car to another car park where I can stay for the whole day. Uh, I probably won't be doing very much talking at all on the way out there because I think I'm going to be squeezed in like sardines on the boat. Okay guys, I've managed to squeeze all my stuff into one bag. I'll have to carry my water bottle and my camera but that's not going to be an issue. I've packed everything I can think of from waterproof to food. So we are ready to go and get on this boat. Huh. It's actually not too heavy. How are we doing, Ed? Are you We have arrived on the Isle of May. We had to run through the Terran colony just as we came off the boat. They were mobbing us and diving us uh, as we walked through the area where they nest. Uh, I made friends with two guys on the boat. They are in front of me now and they know a good location to shoot the puffins from. So we're heading there now. I'm excited to see the location and start grabbing some shots. Ooh, so many birds, so many birds. So although it is definitely the puffins which are the star of the show and which draw people to this island, there are also many other bird species to see, like for example these kittiwakes. Killamots. Razor bells. and shags. But as I said, it's the puffins which most people are here to see.
Hi guys, so I've been hanging around on this cliff top for maybe about 40 minutes now and I've just spotted my first two puffins with beaks full of sand eels. They are a little bit far away just behind me on the end of the cliff here. Uh, we're not allowed to leave the paths here in case we stand on any puffin burrows. So I would love to be able to sneak a little bit closer on these guys but for now I think I'm just going to have to grab these shots and hope that I can improve on them later on as the day goes on. But absolutely magic to see. Fantastic. Well, I've just been continuing to walk backwards and forwards along this sort of 100 meter stretch of cliff tops, grabbing the shots I can. Uh, I've now stuck on the 1.4 teleconverter onto the 200 to 600 lens. So I think I'm gonna head back to where I was seeing those puffins with the um, sand eels in their beaks and see if I can get any closer shots of those guys. Sadly, apparently there's not as many puffins around today as normal, which is obviously typical. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these guys here. You can see, see I've got, so I've got these puffins just chilling on the rocks over here behind me. I'm gonna head back along this way and see if I can find some more with the sand eels in their beaks. Thanks guys. Okay guys, we have got it. So there's a puffin sitting on the rocks maybe about 10 meters away from me just now and he has got a beak full of sand eels. Uh, he's sitting down just now but he was standing on the edge of a rock. So I've definitely managed to grab one or two shots at least with a puffin with sand eels in its beak. So the time has come now to get back on the boat and head back to Anstruther. It's been an absolutely fantastic day here on the Isle of May and I will absolutely be coming back here at some point to try and improve on the shots I already got today. But yeah, it's been absolutely magic. The last obstacle is now to get back through this terran colony without getting absolutely mauled by the birds. So here we go. And as we pulled back into Anstruther, that was the end of another adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell. Also, maybe drop down and leave a comment on which was your favourite image in the video. Thank you again for joining me on this adventure and I shall see you on the next one.